What's up everybody, Chad here for yet another Taco Tuesday. So one big thing that I wanted to talk about today was uh, there is an upcoming recall on our trucks. Now, it, I don't think it's been made public yet. I haven't seen anything about it yet. Um, and I would consider this to be far bigger than the rear differential leak that we've been seeing in some 2016 model trucks. Now, I don't know if this particular recall will apply to both 2016 and 2017 models, or if it's just a 2016 or 2017, um, but more than likely it will be the earlier models. So I haven't had this problem with my truck yet, but it seems to be that the crankshaft position sensor um, has been having some issues. It's been malfunctioning or it doesn't read well with the crankshaft that's in our trucks. Um, and what people have been seeing is it's been a bit of a stalling situation. So whether it's been merging onto the freeway or just sitting at idle, your truck will all of a sudden shut off. Um, the, it, it sounds like there's a certain coating on either the um, crankshaft position sensor itself or the crankshaft. Um, I'm not sure which because there isn't too much information that we've um, gotten about this yet. But either way, they don't read very well with each other and it can send the truck into a stall situation. Um, I was reading on the Tacoma World Forums and there have been quite a few people that have been having issues with this. Like I said, whether it's been sitting uh, at idle or you've been merging onto the freeway, the truck will all of a sudden start to decelerate even if your foot is completely down on the accelerator. Now this is a very big problem for to Toyota because you know it can result in several lawsuits and buybacks of vehicles and that's just something that you know no manufacturer wants to deal with so um, be expecting a recall on that very soon um, like I said we haven't experienced that ourselves I hope that you know at this point I do have 16,000 miles on the truck and nothing um, of that nature has happened so far so just keep an eye out and before you know Toyota is going to be sending you some information in your mailbox so we'll keep you updated as we hear things so a couple of things that I did just want to update you all on. Last week I did get my 15,000 mile service done on my truck at my local Toyota dealership here in Winchester, Virginia. And everything checked out fine. And I had them check out that um, rear differential leak that um, some Tacomas have been having. And mine did not appear to have that issue. So I'm thankful for that. And what they did was just tighten up those third member bolts and send me on my way. Um, so. Um, a couple of you had mentioned in the comments um, in the last Taco Tuesday that I had done um, concerning the leaf springs and the squeak that um, I was having with them to apply some lithium grease um, on the um, bearings um, back through there and, uh, excuse me, not bearings, bushings. Um, and I had put some of the um, white lithium grease on there and um, that actually has helped out really well. Um, since I had seen those comments two weeks ago today, um, I still don't have any squeak to this point. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it back there. I did apply it pretty liberally actually. You know, I really wanted to see if I could get it in there everywhere I could and hopefully, you know, it'll last a good while. So um, hopefully, you know, for months to come, maybe I won't have to apply anything more to that. So um, to those of you who had said that in the comments, thank you very much for that. Um, know after I trying different things from PB blaster to WD-40 you know I was hoping you know any of those would kind of help displace any water or moisture back there um, even after I you know cleaned it very well so um, thank you again for that and we'll keep you updated on it in the future so as far as news goes this week um, there was a Jalopnik article that I had come across that um, was saying for the upcoming Toyota Supra that we are expecting to be coming you know in the coming years um, they expect that to have an automatic transmission and no option of a manual transmission so you can row your own gears. And you know, for me to read that, that was a little bit disappointing because I would say that the Supra is and was an enthusiast car. Now, I know that this vehicle is being co-developed um, between Toyota and BMW. Um, and more than likely, what people are saying, so take this with a grain of salt, that uh, there will be a BMW transmission in it. So BMW, for the most part, does use automatic transmissions in their vehicles nowadays, but BMW still does offer manual transmissions in a lot of their sportier, like M Sport lineups and M Series. Um, so I would be more on the positive 
passive side looking that there is still a chance that we could have a manual transmission in there because even in the Tacomas uh, Mike Swears did say that there is still you know a bit of a following out there for people who want to row their own gears and you know I would have absolutely loved a manual in this truck but they simply didn't have a manual offering for my particular configuration and I just simply didn't want a short bed in my truck so I could have a manual I wasn't willing to sacrifice it because that bed is actually a bit more usable um, or significantly more usable than a short bed so you know Hopefully we'll be able to see um, a manual transmission offering in that new Supra coming out in the coming years. So if you all like to watch the um, Summer Olympics and Winter Olympics like I do, um, be looking out in 2020 for a pretty big event that Toyota is going to be having there. Um, Toyota might be taking off the wheels, you know, and in this sense they're actually going to be taking to the air. Um, Toyota is expected to possibly um, kind of uh, debut some sort of aerial vehicle. Now, whether or not this is actually something that they are going to market, I don't know. And, you know, your parents or possibly even your grandparents may have said when they were growing up that they, you know, had always said that there were going to be flying cars by this year, by 1990, by 2000. Well, we still haven't seen that to this day. And